Hey guys, XO Rose Gold here. Today I'm gonna show you how to fix your broken mods, just a temporary fix, and how to prevent them from ever breaking in the future. Because let's face it, broken mods suck. Like I'm a Twitch streamer and I main Beat Saber. So <laughs> trying to get ready to go live and then all of a sudden you're like, oh crap, Beat Saber had an update. And now, oh man, would you look at that? All my mods are broken. Like it's kind of the worst thing ever, right? Like nobody wants to deal with that. So that's what we're gonna work on today. First, I'm gonna show you a temporary fix because I'm sure your mods are probably already broken and that's why you searched this video in the first place. And then I'm gonna show you a super, super easy way on how to not let them get broken in the future. So let's work on that. All right, the first thing I'm gonna have you do is back up your Beat Saber game. We're gonna need to reference some of the files here in a little bit and I'm not responsible for anything that you accidentally delete or lose. So let's just back it up before we even get started just so we have it and we're not gonna be sad when anything's gone later. So you'll go to your local files and then click common here so you can get the entire folder. Also, if you don't already have it pinned, I would definitely right click it again after you copy it and just hit pin to start. Mine's pinned and it's gonna be the way that I'm gonna be referencing the game the entire time. So it's gonna be a lot easier for you to not have to click you know, and find the file every time you need to do it. So just go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop mine on my desktop here, it's always ready to go. It's literally gonna save all my files and have them ready for me. So to fix your mods today, I uploaded a working game version of Beat Saber 1.13.2 and some of the base mods that work for that game version. So for this temporary fix, we're gonna revert you back to that version until the mods are fixed and working with the updated version of Beat Saber and then you can just update as normally as you would. So I put a link in the description, so click on that and it's gonna pull you up to this right here. And you're just gonna click download, let it run its course, and we'll get back to it in a second. All right, so now that it's done downloading, we're gonna go save file, and then I'm just gonna go to my downloads here, find the file, here it is. We're gonna go in here and copy out everything. So we're just gonna take the whole thing, come on now, all of it, and I'm just gonna copy it out. So this next step is super important. We already went over it earlier, but it's so important that I'm gonna say it again. Make sure that your Beat Saber game is backed up in a safe place. Make sure it's safe. I don't want you to be sad later. Just make sure it's safe. <laughs> okay, now that you've done that, we'll go to your Beat Saber game, the current game, not the backup and we are just going to delete everything in the folder. So we're nuking the game, that's why I wanted to make sure that your game was backed up because if it wasn't and you deleted it and you needed something, that would be horrible. So we're gonna put the fix in, the Beat Saber fix that I copied just a second ago for my downloads, we're now dropping it right into this folder and we're gonna let it do its thing. Awesome, so now we have a working game and some working mods. So all we need to do now is go in and grab out all your custom stuff, like your songs, custom sabers, hit score visualizer, saber tailor, pretty much anything that you have manually set in the past that you'll change the settings for, we're gonna go and find all those. All right, to make this super easy, I'm gonna stick my new version on this side of the screen. And I'm gonna open up my backup version and put it on this side of the screen. So, new version, old version. <laughs> all right, let's grab all your custom folders now. So, let's start with the custom levels, most important in my opinion. We're going to right click and copy it. And we're just gonna go over here and hit paste. I'm not gonna click it because I have like a thousand hundred million freaking songs and it's gonna take way too long to download. So we're gonna do that. Next I'm gonna grab my custom savers, copy those, you can just click down here, paste them in, perfect. We're gonna need our IPAs and libs, copy, paste those. Uh, we'll need playlists, copy those. Hit replace. Uh, if it asks you to replace on the other ones, just hit replace. And then user data has um, pretty much all, all of the other good important stuff like head score visualizer, saber tailor, counters plus, camera plus, like all the good stuff. You're going to want that one for sure. I went ahead and put a screenshot in the description below as well that has 
um, just screenshots of all the folders that have your custom stuff in it. So you can reference that if you want to. Um, after you do that, you should be good to go. Your game is pretty much ready for playing and everything should work um, with the mixture of the ones I uploaded and then putting your custom folders in. Everything should be working just fine. So one thing I do want to point out is if you're watching this video and it's like a year old and we're like way advanced in the way that mods make mods now, uh, mixing your files in with the files I provided might not work. Technically, the game that I uploaded as it is will work. Like, I mean, we could be on six updates from now um, and you could pop this one in and it should still technically work. I just don't know if it'll work with your like customized parts that we added in. So if that's the case and you want to run off of just this version, then I mean, by all means, go ahead and work with it. But if, if for some reason you like mixed your mods in and it's like not working, I would try and just use the core files that I put in and see if it works that way. Okay, so now let's talk about that super easy way to never have to deal with broken mods again. So the first super easy, super, super easy first step, I mean like it's so easy, like I'm surprised that you haven't even done it already, but you're just gonna hit the like and subscribe button to my channel. I bet you feel better now too that you've done it. I, I know I do, I know I do. All right, awesome. Now, now that that's taken care of and we all feel better about ourselves, uh, let's skip to the future and say that all the mods are updated now. So your game is fixed, you updated your version, it's perfect, just how you want it, like exactly how it was, kind of like before you came searching for this video because they were all broken, like that kind of perfect. So your game is exactly the way you want it and you're happy with your game as it is you are going to to prevent ever dealing with broken mods again, you're just gonna save your game. You're just gonna back it up. And I mean, you can save it wherever you want. Mine is in a different place. So I'm actually gonna do it right now anyways, because I um, have been going through messing with so much stuff on it already. So say you saved it, you know, to your desktop or wherever you're gonna save it. Mine's right here. So you copy it exactly how it is and you make your backup of it. Then all the game updates and all the mods are broken again. You don't have to come back to this video. You can literally take your, your backup that you saved once it's perfect and you copy your backup and you go to your Beat Saber folder and you do the same method we did before. You delete it. You say, okay, goodbye now. You're, you're broken because you updated and you paste in you paste in your, your backup and then you launch it like normal and your game is fine. So it's super easy to do. I wasn't kidding. You literally just save the entire folder and then when Beat Saber updates and all your mods are broken, you just delete the whole thing and replace it with your with your backup. And then you're working and everything's great and awesome again and you're not sad that all your mods are broken because you're like, yay, I had a backup. Thanks, XO Rose Gold. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that I liked and subscribed to your channel. <laughs> oh man, you guys. I hope this helped. I hope this video helped you a lot. And uh, if you really want to thank me for helping you fix your mods and preventing you from ever dealing with stinky broken mods again in the future, check out my Twitch channel, XO Rose Gold. I uh, stream a lot of Beat Saber, so come by and say hey. Peace out.